up, be up. Yeah. All right, guys, we're doing a night dive, and it's going to be super fun. Thank you so much, Nikki, and enjoy the video. Bye-bye. Have fun. All right, guys, here's a quick look at what I bring when I go diving. Two pairs of swim shorts, two towels, hairbrush, extra flashlight, diving light, uh, my Rolex Submariner, contacts and glasses, baby shampoo, that's for cleaning the uh, mask, the goggles. These are for hanging my clothes on the front, the front of the boat. Here's my dive book to record all my dives. A few dollars for the taxi, diving socks, and my phone charger. And I am super lucky. Look at this weather I've got today for diving. It's about 10.30 a.m. in the morning, and I'm looking forward to it. My taxi will be here in about 30 minutes, and then it's a 25-minute ride to the boat pier. Alright guys, the boat is a little bit full today, so the place sent a large uh, shuttle, like a big van, which is cool. It's got like a giant amp, it can play super loud music. It's got like these flashing lights, and it has a really great AC. And I always like to sit up front with the driver, otherwise you never know who you're going to sit next to, and it can get annoying, and you know, people I'm not a big fan of. I'm super excited to go diving today, and we're going to two hotels, then we're going to the dock, and getting on the boat. All right guys, today is absolutely crazy. Last time I was here, there was like three cars. Look at this, it's insane. Wow. It's like there's no corona right now. It's ridiculously crazy. So busy right now. All right guys, we're at the pier. We're about to get on a shuttle, which will take us down a one kilometer dock, and then we're gonna get on the boat. All right guys, we're taking my favorite boat, which is local, local dive Thailand. Here's the water. This place is not too beautiful because you know all the oil and all the boats in the water, so it's a little bit dirty. And there's my good old local dive Thailand right there. Let's take a look at it. It's pretty full today, so I do my fast walking so I can make sure to get a good spot. I'm always the first one off the airplane and the first one through customs, first one at the taxi line. I just like walking fast. Here's the boat, it is freaking beautiful, I love it. Quick tour of the boat. Here's the eating area. They have a little kitchen and this is where they serve the food. Here's the front of the boat. Always has the Thai flag flying. We're still at the dock. Here is floor two. Here's the captain's quarters. And here's the smoking area. I never really go up here. Another inside area. And there's a third floor as well. Uh, I really don't like when it's so busy. But I'm going to be diving for many years to come. And I assume there's not always going to be a pandemic. So I just need to get used to it. So here's the third floor. Got this nice shaded area. I'll probably just hang out up here a lot today. There's Big Buddha. And here's all the boats. I was actually looking at one a few days ago. Um, I don't really see any ones that are similar to the one I wanted to buy. I guess that, mm, that's too big. But you can probably get a boat like that for 50,000 American dollars. The thing though, it's not super expensive to buy a boat expensive to upkeep a boat, like the parking and the dock fees and the maintenance and the cleaning, all that. I mean, anyone can buy a boat, but to like maintain the boat is the expensive part. I'm at the back of the boat where we keep all the air tanks and the equipment. Here's the beautiful water. There's the main island. And here's my gear for today. I've got a BCD, which is a buoyancy control device. Basically, you inflate it with air and you go up. Uh, you've got your regulator for breathing, I've got my mask, I've got my, yeah, I've got my regulator, and this is the inflator valve, actually. You push the button, and then your vest fills up with air. And here's my weight belt. This is what keeps you down. You put it on, and it keeps you underwater. That's pretty much it. Pretty simple. Hey guys, please excuse the sound quality. It's going to be terrible.
waving at me. Guys, wave. There we go. Yes. So the island is getting smaller and smaller. You take a look. And they've got all these little islands popping up. Some are actually quite large. And believe it or not, this is actually still part of the main island. I always thought this was a separate island, but this is part of the main one. All right, that's the direction we left from. You can still see the main island a little. And the first place we're going is past that island. But that island is actually my favorite. It's called Kodok Mai. We're doing one dive at a place further, and then two dives there, and then we head back. Alright guys, this is Ko Dok Mai. Ko means island, Dok Mai means flower, so this is Flower Island. And this one's really awesome. Underneath, there is a cave, and we are allowed to go inside, and it's super fun. This is one of my favorite dives. It's also something called a wall dive, which means this piece of rock, this island, doesn't have a beach. It just goes straight vertically down. And it's like at a, it's like at an aquarium. You can just look up and down it, and it's a wall dive. There's like lots of plants and fish and living things on it. This place is awesome. Co dog my. All right, guys, we just finished dive one. We were underwater for about 40 minutes. There's the sea, you know, my boat. We were under for about 40 minutes, and the current was a little bit strong. Uh, we went to a place called King Cruiser. It's a giant shipwreck. It's like 100 meters uh, big. It's a giant, it was like a ferry. I didn't see anything too special, just like uh, lionfish. I saw a really small eel, pufferfish, a jellyfish. I kind of like pet the jellyfish. It always feels like a rubbery texture. And so many beautiful corals and flowery type things. It looked awesome. Now I'm just gonna eat some fruit and enjoy my resting time. Getting ready to do dive two. Here's the boat boys. They fill up the air and take care of everyone. Some instructor back there. Here's the chart that shows the time in, the current, the destination, and here's a little map and a plan. We got three bathrooms on this great one. Lots of cubbies. Here's my coconut water. And let's look at the kitchen. It's always really good food on here. charging phones, food area, and they've got a toaster. People like toast, jelly and jams, butter, the fruit from earlier, coffee. This one's really good. It's like oval tea and cocoa, like hot cocoa. Tea, coffee, sugar. And we're going to my favorite place, which is Kodok Mai. Unfortunately, the night dive will not be there, but we're doing dive two there. So we're going to three different places today. And here's where I hang and tie my stuff so it can kind of dry out. We usually take about one hour. Um, we come back up, it's called a surface interval. So something about blood oxygen levels, I don't quite understand it. Like the gas in our blood dissolves or something. Here's the captain. Assalamu alaikum. Here's a little over here. Nikki! Hey guys, we just finished dive two. Uh, it was pretty so so. I mean, diving is nice and it's always good to be in the water, but I didn't see anything too special. I've got the coconut water, a uh, little thing of pasta, like stroganoff, with chicken. These are cool, it's just like a fried chicken egg. We've got green curry and a few chicken legs. I only got three my first time. If there's more later, I'll, I'm sure I'll eat more, but I don't want to be a big. Gotta give her a chance. And we're gonna chill for an hour or two and then dive three. Here's Nikki again. Nikki, say hello. Hey, everyone. There we go. Okay, guys, take a look at the beautiful sun. It's gonna be down in about. 15 minutes. 
we're heading to dive three right now. Alright guys, everyone's kind of just chilling and doing their own thing. Some people up here, a lot of people back there. And the sun is going down. Super peaceful. The moon is behind those clouds over there. It's a full moon right now. And yeah, it's nice. I didn't see any like spectacular fish today, but I mean any diving that you survive is good diving. Not that it's dangerous. I'm just saying like just the sensation of diving is fun enough. Being underwater for an hour, like the decompression on your bones from lack of gravity. It's so mellow. Like it's a really peaceful kind of thing. And the sun is ducking down behind those. And this next dive, um, be at that island. We'll probably be there in about 35 minutes. Boats are slow. Alright guys. No, I tried before. I did before and I dive. Are you ready? Already? Oh, Alright okay. All right, guys, uh, we're doing a night dive. You can see the beautiful moon. And oh, yeah. Alright yeah. right, guys, we're doing a night dive. And it's going to be super fun. Thank you so much, Nikki, and enjoy the video. Bye-bye. Bye. Have fun. You can just put it on the table over here. Give him a little man. Some two women, Jay. Ah, beautiful moon. What man, my beautiful lava. As you can see now, it's uh, pitch black outside, nothing. The moon's pretty bright though. And I had a weird incident. My VCD, which is like my vest, kept filling up with air. I don't know how. And it was a really unpleasant experience. Like, it felt like I was getting plumped down in the water, like yanked down. It was really scary. And I kept having to like, basically I had to use my lungs. So I was like blowing out all the air I could like which makes you sink down. And I was just like <laughs> and it was like yanking me up. Oh my god, it was not fun. I don't know what happened, I'll ask my dive instructor later. But oh my god, it was crazy. Anyways, we got some pancakes made by this girl. Thank you. Thank you. What is your name? Mon. Mon? Cool. I guess Mon makes very good food. Thank you. Guys, pickup was at 11. It's now 9:30, so pretty long day. Uh, not a huge fan of that particular tour. I don't know. Let's see how I feel tomorrow. It usually takes me a while to digest like experiences.